Come with me to Chanel to get my dream bag. I have been told that there's a price increase coming up in a couple of days, so that pretty much got me panicking. My husband was sweet enough to drive me for two hours just so we can go to the Chanel boutique. And I was extra excited because this is the reopening of their new location, so I have not seen it yet. I got so lucky when we arrived because we had the front parking available and there was no line. Which is literally crazy because my friend had just gone yesterday to look at stuff for me and she showed me a picture which is what I'm gonna put in here and it is a long long line and she said they were so busy inside they couldn't even show her a lot of stuff. It was wild. And as soon as I got there I seriously needed to pee because I had been holding it for the whole ride. They told me that I will find the bathroom upstairs and so I was already shook that there's an upstairs to this. Like this new location is just stunning. So their bathroom is pretty much hidden in a corner. It is so cute and so pretty, all marble. And there's me. <laughs> Guys, my essay wasn't available yet, so that's why I took my sweet time. First, I wanted to try out the medium classic flap with gold hardware just to see. You know, this is the ultimate classic. I wanted to know what it would look like on me. It's definitely very pretty, but I just kept thinking about how I have so much black bags already. And here I'm comparing side by side the black one that I just curiously tried on and the beige that they actually had reserved for me fresh from the box. So my essay was actually busy still trying to finish up with another client but he did get somebody to temporarily help me but I've actually worked with her before so I felt really comfortable. So just for fun, I did ask her if she has a preference between the black or beige and she said that she feels like there's so many black fake ones out there that it just makes her stay away from it now. But I did genuinely want a beige one which is why they reserved it for me the day before. I just feel like I have so much black and no beige at all so it's time for versatility. So first I tried on the small with silver hardware and surprisingly I fell in love with the color combination. The size also looked really perfect, proportionate and everything. However, when you open it, I feel like it can fit just a little bit more than the mini so I really wasn't convinced. This one is the medium with yellow gold hardware. It's stunning and elegant. It looks longer, definitely fits a lot more, which is exactly what I need since majority of my bags are tiny and can't fit all of my essentials. I also tried it on as a crossbody since I tend to wear a lot of bags this way and it actually fit nicely and is perfect height where it landed on my hip. So I've definitely narrowed it down to a medium beige caviar, but I was still not set on the hardware color. So I asked them to bring out a silver one just to confirm which is best for me. So I had a quick look around at the other bags while waiting for them to bring it out. Oh my goodness, this one definitely caught my eye. It's so cute, but I seriously need to focus. Now here's the gold and silver, and honestly, both are so gorgeous. They also give really different vibes, so it was a tough decision to make. Like, I like them both, but the yellow gold seemed more elegant and timeless, and the silver kind of looked more youthful and casual, kind of perfect for every day. After I decided on the one, they said that they'll wrap it up for me. I did also want to look at some SLGs and other goodies, so I went downstairs. Okay guys, everything is so pretty and cute. I love how the new boutique is set up and all the eye candies are like placed perfectly. I mean, for anybody who walks around, you're going to be so tempted to just buy something, if not everything. And sadly, this one is going to be the last clip because a security guy said we're actually not allowed to film in this new boutique. And oh my gosh, he kind of scared me. But definitely wait for my unboxing video. Um, can you guess which one I took home? <laughs>